is happening when we come to God. Good. Charlotte, thank you very much for being here today. It's a pleasure having you here at the most important data center event that we do here in India. I want to start by talking about CFI Technologies. Can you explain uh, what you guys do, what's your expertise, and give us some background of the company? Yeah, so CFI Technologies is more than 30-year-old company. Initially, it started as a, a first private internet service provider of the country. Then it grew its business into the licensed telecom business that it continues to do by offering B2B services on the networking that is uh, all kinds of network services. Uh, the data center and the uh, cloud and the digital services and the managed services were logical extension of the business. So that's what now it is. Three distinct businesses. CFI Technologies that is responsible for doing the licensed telecom business in the country, the network business B2B. Second, the CFI Digital Services Limited that that is doing private cloud, uh, managed services around the infra, security, digital learning, m multiple services there. And third, that earlier the data center business that was part of the overall parent company hived off into a different company called Sifi Infinity Spaces Limited. So I represent, I, bus I lead Sifi Infinity Spaces Private Limited. In the data center business, uh, we have almost 200 megawatt of deployed capacity operational with the customers. Uh, we are building close to 400 megawatt more. And then uh, we had the new <coughs> weekend control where we could do uh, up to 500 megawatt to a gigawatt of capacity. Uh, various studies have put us as leader in the country. Uh, so far, our playground had been India. Uh, but who knows uh, when we are able to grow enough here and we would go somewhere else as well. Perfect. And what trends do you see shaping the future of data centers in India? You have been in the marketplace for quite some time. Yeah, yep. You have seen different players coming. What are the trends for the future? How is the industry looking like in a few years' time? Yep. So as you rightly said, we had been in the market for long. In fact, SIFI built India's first commercial data center in year 2000. It was launched in September 2000, our first one megawatt data center that is still alive. And most probably we will have to bring it down and move the customers from there. But as a future trend, how the trend has been? First, uh, it was uh, uh, regular uh, enterprises moving to data centers. Then it was driven by the cloud service providers. Uh, now the third, down beyond cloud service providers, these days we are also seeing a lot of artificial intelligence kind of load that everyone is uh, excited about that over the period of time it will grow. But one other piece that in India what we are seeing is that the users, the contents, they are also being created in the smaller cities. Beyond the growth of the data center capacity into the gigawatts level in the metropolitan cities in India, that is Mumbai, Chennai, Bangalore, Delhi, and Hyderabad, where most of the hyperscalers have also gone and everyone is building large campuses. Now, the trend is that we will also need a lot of smaller data centers, edge data centers across the country. So I am particularly excited about not just the regular trends of clouds, service provider growing, hyperscalers growing, artificial intelligence load coming into the system, that growing, but also uh, the data centers going into the edge cities, at least 20 plus cities in the tier two market, where the smaller data centers up to 10 to 20 megawatt could come over a period of time. That's very interesting. Very interesting. When, when you talk about data center, everybody is very keen to learn more. It's a new topic in the real estate industry. It's a very traditional one. We just had a meeting now in Switzerland with many leaders from Europe and the US where we discussed how the year will look like. So they share their opinions and questions and doubts, fears. And we had different breakout rooms, residential, commercial real estate, hospitality. But the room that was absolutely crowded. was the data center. Data center. Absolutely. We had the same thing in New York. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I look at that and I see so much capital being deployed here and elsewhere in South America, in Europe, in the US. And my question to you is, what could go wrong? Am I right to, to think that when everybody is excited about something, that thing could go wrong? Or 
it's such a solid demand that you're not worried at all. So for right now, let's keep one piece constant, that is demand. Let's assume for a moment that everyone is excited in the right ways about the demand. Maybe the quantum of the demand, there could be a debate on that. Someone could say in few hundreds of megawatts, someone could say in few tens of gigawatts. Let's stick, keep that constant. Uh, I think there is no doubt on the demand. Only, I agree. Only, only the probably is the even if there is a new technology, quantity. the chip is still gonna be plenty of demand. I agree. Exactly. It's gonna go up. The challenge is that because of the demand, what scaling is required is the whole ecosystem is ready for that kind of scaling. A majority of us are talking about energy, that energy is a constraint. Uh, many markets, the space may be constrained, but it looks like that land, space, and construction, actual the physical asset may not be as much of a constraint, uh, but energy could be constrained. That's a big challenge that everyone also agrees. Correct. Now, the bigger challenge that, I, that keeps me awake is whether my whole ecosystem is scaling in the same manner or not. The supply chain ecosystem is scaling in the same manner without compromising quality, without compromising the resiliency and the reliability of the equipment that they are producing. So the manufacturers who are doing the uh, generator, the organizations who are manufacturing the transformers, electrical panels, bus bars, uh, the chillers, are their manufacturing facility, the shop floor, are able to maintain the quality are they able to maintain, ensure the zero defects in what they are producing? Are they able to scale or not? So I would say that right now, what can go wrong is one batch of defective product coming out of these shop floors, creating availability incidents in one data center, and probably not just in one data center, multiple data centers because the batch itself came wrong, and then Many people lose their uh, reputation, many people lose money, and it's, there is a huge sequence of event after that. So that keeps me awake. And that keeps me saying that, hey, whether our ecosystem is also equally sensitive about the needs of the, uh, the data center and the technology. Because any other industry where you are deploying transformers, generator, uh, you, there you can afford a defect for a few seconds or few minutes. This is the industry where we could, can't yeah, Im, afford a picosecond defect, right? So that keeps me, that says that there is a... That makes sense. That's a very smart answer. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Very nice conversation. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Which has happened. Good.